G'day everybody, welcome to another episode of the wonderful world of Waikato Sheds. G'day Sean. Hey Jace, how you going? Awesome, the sun is shining which has been a little unusual in 2023. <laughs> what a beautiful day in the Waikato, wouldn't you say? I would say it is lovely. Yeah. Now, what have we got here today? Well, we've got a pretty big one behind us here Jace, we've got a huge 420 square metre awesome shed behind us, you guys are going to have to come check out what we've done here. Awesome, first up Let's have a look. We've got this amazing clear span area. This is 12 meters deep and actually designed for trucks to be able to roll in and park, but also a great spot um, for the car to be able to park in underneath there as well. We're going to get all lined up underneath there as well for bird proofing and it'll just look amazing. Now let's come around. What's the size of this big opening we've got here, Sean? So we got 4.5 meter high walls to start with, so we needed to actually do quite a big door. So the opening of this door is four meters high by 3.4 meters wide, and then it just goes down into a couple smaller ones. So these are just two three by threes, and then another two three by threes down the end there. Excellent, so these are Gara doors installed by our mates Dominator. Melt, thanks for that, getting it done before Christmas. They look great. Now we've got these amazing Marley downpipes here in the black and they're looking really sharp as well. So we're always a fan of the colored downpipes that think it can really add to the shed. What's the color of this shed, Sean? So the whole shed is made out of thunder gray, um, T-red cladding as well. The joinery, a little bit different. They've gone with iron sand around the outsides, but yeah, just a little bit of contrast between the two colors. I think it looks amazing. All right, shall we go and jump up and see the front of this shed? We should. Let's make it happen. Awesome, we're inside. So. This, play, this building has been designed all internally by New Vision Architecture. They're based out of Te Aumuru. Jason, Dave, they do a great job and we recommend all of our clients go and speak to them because they've got a real great understanding of how to take a shed into a beautiful home. So we'll be able to show you the plans and what they've done. Now the client's organising all that fit out himself so we can't wait to come back and see what they've done. Now our great mates at City Glass, they've built this awesome piece of joinery here. And a lot of people will say, Jace, what should I do? I want a bifold door or do I go a ranch slider? I personally love a ranch slider, Sean. Mm. The reason why is you get these big clear pieces of glass here to allow for the view. We've got space to put the windows at the top and windows on the side. So why don't we see how it works? Jump outside and enjoy this north facing living area. Boom, let's go. Pretty impressive out here, isn't it? I like how it really matches the front of the shed as well. They've gone with a similar look at the back. Obviously nice open area, it's all gonna be enclosed. Double bifold windows here, gonna be going straight into the kitchen. Who wouldn't wanna be serving snags out of there? Oh yeah, pass me a cold beer any day of the week. I'd love that out of here. This is all gonna be enclosed with color steel. We love color steel, as Sean had said, T-Rib. Oh, and it's just gonna be a great job, park up here and enjoy the sunshine all day long. Why don't we go around and have a quick look at the other side, should we make it happen? Yep. All right, Jace. as you can see, two massive sheds come joined together. What's up with this little step down here? What's gonna be going on in the back half? Awesome. What happened is the client wanted something special rather than just that big extended gable that we do love doing, is we've put that 10 by 18, 180 square meters of habitable at the front. Then there's going to be a little bit of a fishing room and bathroom and that, but it's going to be a nice big high bay workshop for the trucks and that. So the guys have done a great job with the engineers, joined that together, new vision architecture and that. So it's looking great. And you can just see all this great joinery that's been done by City Glass and that. I'm pretty proud of what's happened here and Tom and the boys, as I've said, have done a great job. How about we jump inside and just have a quick look at the structure, Sean? Should yeah, we yeah. do it? Sounds good. All right, Jace, we're inside. This is one intense structure. It's pretty awesome. What do we got going on here? All right, Sean, I agree. This is intense, but we've got 420 square meters of shed here. And so this has been designed to habitable standards. So that means it's going to last forever. So we've got huge posts in here. We've got a lot of big purlins going across the roof and we've got a lot of X bracing in here. The guys that made this, once again, our mates Metalcraft up in Auckland have done all the structure for us. Cheers, guys. It's all out of New Zealand still, and I'm huge for that because we're supporting the industry here in the Waikato, but also New Zealand wide. It's a New Zealand steel mill, New Zealand made. Now, this concrete slab, what they've done is awesome. We've got a normal 100 mil thick slab here full of steel where the truck's gonna be outside, 150 mil. 
A1 Bobcats have done that for us. A few other shout outs would be Thermocraft, Kingspan, Wrap in the Wall. They do a great job of that. And so we put that in all our habitable jobs, so it makes it great to be able to align with afterwards. Fastenings, Connect, Rachel, Brendan, we love you. <laughs> so you've done a great job with the bolts, screws, always looking after us. And then Central Scaffolds, they looked after the guys. Cambridge Hire Bins, it's great. We don't, we don't do this alone. It's not just me and Sean building these things. It takes a huge team, a huge collaborative effort. So it's awesome to be able to put it together and see such an intense structure. So I think we need a little um, thanks for it all. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of videos coming out in the next wee while, one a week. Um, follow our YouTube channel. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank you.